My name is Jack Sternick, and I was not raised in a Bible-believing family. My influences were not from the ways of the Lord or the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Most of my directives came from my own senses, feelings, or personal experiences. There was a Bible in my house, but nobody paid any attention to it. It just sat on a shelf in my mother's room and collected dust. I learned later on in life that my infant baptismal party was held in the back room of our neighborhood bar. At 17 years of age, this same bar, ironically, became my daily drinking hangout. At 19, I joined the army, and by this time, I was already a full-fledged alcoholic. In Korea, I had the reputation for being always found at the village bar. I got married before I turned 23 and started raising a family. Having two sons and spending most of my time working on the homes I lived in left me no time for spiritual matters. Then at 30 years old, my life took a big turn. I met a new friend named George and our families grew close together. George and I had a lot in common. Then one day, George, after listening to Christian radio, had a spiritual meeting with Jesus. He was real excited about his newfound faith and always wanted to share it with me. Although I was really not interested in hearing him, because of our friendship, we tolerated each other. By this time in my life, I had no trust for anyone. I was skeptical about almost everything, especially religious people. They seemed to have good intentions, but how was anyone to know which brand of religion was the right one to follow? One day, George asked me straight out to do him a favor and read two books of the Bible. He selected the Gospel of John and the Book of Romans. I told him that I would, but not allow him, or anyone else for that matter, to tutor me. He said this was okay, but I should pray first. I didn't think it was possible to connect with God, but I didn't think it would hurt anything either. So I prayed before every time I read. Within a month, my whole life was transformed. The Bible revealed to me who Jesus really is. I sensed the Holy Spirit's presence and influence challenging me to believe in Jesus Christ. I learned I could trust the written word completely. It put me on solid ground. It gave me the substance I needed for making right decisions. It taught me I had an eternal future. I realize today that I have been forgiven. I have the righteousness of Jesus now written on my heart. Jesus looked beyond all my faults and saw my needs. He is worthy of all my love. The Bible says that if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. Old things are passed away and everything becomes new. The second half of my life bears little resemblance to the first half.